Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to our online class. So in today's class, Engineering Mathematics One, we'll discuss Unit Three, Multivariable Calculus. Ma. Okay. So already we completed sequence and series, and we completed calculus of one variable. Now in today's class, we'll see multivariable calculus. What are the subtopics in this uh, unit? Ma. We have limit of a function. Then we have continuity of a function. Then we have partial derivatives. Then we have Uh, total derivative of uh, composite and implicit functions, and we have uh, uh, Taylor series expansion of two variables. We have Jacobian method, and we have maxima and minima of a function with the two variables. Then we have Lagrange's method of multipliers. Okay, so in this very very important topic is what maxima and minima. We get a long answer from this topic, ma. And totally uh, first two topics, limits and continuity. And other all topics are depends on the partial derivatives. Okay, so now let us start the topic maxima or minima of a function. See the definition. So maxima and minima of a function of two variables. What is the definition? Let f of x comma y be a function of two variables x and y, and uh, x and y. At x is equal to a and y is equal to b, f of x comma y is said to have a maximum value. F of x comma y is said to have a maximum value if f of a comma b is greater than f of a plus h comma b plus k then when it is has a minimum at x is equal to a and y is equal to b f of x comma y is said to have a minimum value if f of a comma b is less than f of a plus h comma b plus k what are h and k here h and k are small values next what we have we have extreme value what is extreme value if f of a comma b is said to be an extreme value of f if it is a maximum value or minimum value okay ma so this is the basic definition of maxima and minima then how to solve uh, how to find maxima or minima of a given function uh, to the given function okay so that method is very important in intermediate level we have maxima and minima of a one variable now here in engineering mathematics one we have maxima and minima of a two variables okay let us see the working rule of a working rule to how to find a maxima and minima when two variables are given okay what is working rule here see here working rule so to find a maxima or minima of a function f of x comma y to find a maxima or minima of a function f of x comma y so what are the steps we have to follow ma see the first step here first we have to find partial derivative of f with respect to x do f by do x and do f by do y partial derivative of f with respect to y and equate each to zero for x and y values so what we have to do we have to differentiate f with respect to x and y partially and take them to equal to 0 when we equate do f by do x to 0 and do f by do y to 0 we get different types of uh, different uh, x and y values ma those y values those x and y values can be taken as points a1 b1 a2 b2 like that so the points can be taken as a1 b1 and uh, a2 b2 like that so we get some points when we equate do f by do x to 0 and do f by do y to 0 that is first step then what is second step here find l is equal to do square f by do x square two times differentiation of f with respect to x partially then m is equal to do square f by do x do y with respect to y one time with respect to x one time then n is equal to do square f by do y square partial derivative of f with respect to y two times okay then what is the third point so when we say f has maxima and minima see if ln minus m square is greater than 0 What is that point? Ln minus m square is greater than zero, and L is less than zero. This L value is less than zero. Where at a1 comma b1, any one point, then f has a maximum at a1 comma b1, right? Then second point, if Ln minus m square greater than zero, and L also greater than zero at a1 comma b1, then f has a minimum at a1 comma b1. Then if Ln third point, if Ln minus m square is less than zero. then f has neither max nor mean that means it is not a extreme value ma what is extreme value f of a comma b should be either maxima or minima right so when ln minus m square is less than 0 f has neither max nor mean if ln minus m square equal to 
then no conclusion can be drawn no conclusion can be drawn this is this is the working rule of the um, function to find maxima or minima so what we have to do first see the first step you have to find partial derivative of f with respect to x one time and y one time and equal to 0 then find l m n then these are the points when you solve the problem you will understand how to find maxima or minima of a given function ma okay. okay see the first problem ma find the maximum and minimum values of x cube plus y cube minus 3axy find the maximum and minimum values of x cube plus y cube minus 3axy how to solve this problem ma see first of all let f of x comma y let f of x comma y is equal to x cube plus y cube minus 3a x y so this is the function of two variables x and y correct so what is the working rule first what we have to find we have to partially differentiate given function with respect to x and y and equate to 0 okay so this is marked as equation number 1 now partially uh, partially differentiate 1 with respect to with respect to x and y so what i get here do f by do x do f by do x do f by do x is equal to what so x cube differentiation is what 3x square so we are doing partially only x terms we have to do because we are doing with respect to x here there is no x ma so it becomes 0 minus 3a x differentiation is how much 1 so 3a y is constant 3a y is constant differentiation of x is what 1 so do f by do x is what 3x square minus 3a y then similarly with respect to y do f by do y what is do f by do y ma so do f by do y no y here 0 plus y cube differentiation is how much 3y square y cube differentiation is how much 3y square minus 3ax is as it is constant into differentiation of y is what 1. So, we calculated do f by do x and do f by do y. Now, what we have to do equate these two values to 0. So, now uh, do f by do x is equal to 0. So, this implies 3x square minus 3ay equal to 0 right. So, 3x square is equal to 3ay then 3 and 3 get cancelled y is equal to x square by a. So, I got the value of y x square by yeah. Now, from here do f by do y equal to 0. So, what I get here 3 y square minus 3 x is equal to 0. So, 3 y square is equal 3 x 3 and 3 get cancel y square is equal a x. Already what is the y value we have y is equal to x square by a the substitute over here. So, if I substitute here x square by a whole square is equal a x. So, x power 4 by a square is equal to a square x cross multiply a, a x ma cross multiply x power 4 is equal to a cube x x power 4 is equal to a cube x. Now, bring this uh, side. So, x power 4 minus a cube x is equal to 0. If I take common of x, I get x cube minus a cube is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a I get. What I get? x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a. If x is equal to 0, if x is equal to 0, so what is y value ma y also 0. So, that is what is the point now? 0 comma 0 is 1 point. Next, if x is equal to a, so what is y value a square substitute here a square by a, so I get a. So, what is the point ma a comma a. I got 2 points. What are the first point? 0 comma 0 is 1 point, a comma a is what? Another point we got understand here how we did so first we calculated do f by do x and we calculated do f by do y and we equated to 0 for x and y so when i equated to 0 do f by do x i got y value when i equated to do f by do y to 0 i got y square is equal to x and i substituted this y value here so i got x values 0 comma a so i substituted x is 0 then y also 0 when x is equal to a y also a so i got two points a1 comma a1 b1 comma a2 b2 these are the two points ma now what we have to do we have to find l n m what we have to find we have to find l n m one second hmm. 
Now, what is L value ma? L is what? Hmm. Now, see here. So, L. L is equal to what? Dou square F by dou X square. So, that means 2 times differentiation of F with respect to X. If I differentiate again here, so what I get here? I get 3 is constant X square differentiation is 2X. I get 6X. So, no X here, 0. Then, what is uh, one second. What is uh, N value ma? N is equal to dou square F by dou Y square. So, differentiation of dou f by dou y again with respect to y, I get 6y, right. Then next, uh, what is m value dou square f by dou x dou y, differentiate this value with respect to y or differentiate this value with respect to x ma. So, if I differentiate this value with respect to y, I get no y here 0, y is 1, I get minus 3 here. So, I got L value. I got n value, I got m value. Now, what we have to find? We have to find ln minus m square. What we have to find ma? We have to find ln minus m square. So, ln minus m square, uh, ln minus m square, what is L value we got? 6x into, what is n value we got? 6y minus m square. What is m value ma? Minus 3a whole square. Uh, where we have to find at 0 comma 0, first point at 0 comma 0, ln minus m square, ln minus m square is what x is 0, y is 0, I get minus 9a square, I get minus 9a square, it is what less than 0. So, ln minus m square is what less than 0, if ln minus m square is less than 0, then what, what, we, what we can say? We can say it is a, uh, it is neither max nor min, correct. So, f has, f has neither max nor min, where at 0 comma 0. Next point, uh, at what is the point we got? a comma a. At a comma a, ln minus m square, ln minus m square, what we get ma? 6a into 6a, that means how much it is? 36, x value is a, y value is a, 36 a square minus uh, 9 a square that means how much we get here 27 a square so it is greater than 0 next what is l value ma l is what l i got 6 x so l is equal to 6 a this one is also greater than 0 right so therefore ln minus m square is greater than 0 and l also greater than 0 so what we have f has minimum right f has minimum at at where f has minimum at a comma a f has minimum at a comma a it is a minimum or maximum mark so greater than no one second ah yes at a comma a. So, f has minimum at a comma a. So, when it is a is, when it is a is less than 0, correct? When a it is uh, greater than 0, when a is less than 0, then f has maximum. Understand here? So, minimum value, how to calculate? So, therefore, uh, minimum, minimum, minimum value f is equal, substitute a comma a in the given problem, I get a cube plus a cube minus 3a cube. So, f is equal to 2a cube minus 3a cube will give you minus a cube. So, uh, minus a cube is the uh, minus a cube is the minimum <coughs> minus a cube is the minimum value of the given function. Correct ma? So, like that you need to solve this problem. Oh, it covered or uh, not covered? One second. 